Welcome to the Business English Podcast, the best place for non-native professionals to learn how to communicate clearly and confidently. My name is Tanya Suarez, and in each episode, you're going to learn specific skills to develop your corporate communication, American pronunciation, and career strategy in order to build the life you deserve. Let's jump right in to part one. Use exclamations and filler words that native speakers use. For example, if you're from Mexico, like my family is, when you're thinking, you probably say, eh, eh, bueno. And a lot of times you'll, you'll fall back on your native language when you're thinking in English, if you're speaking in English. So something you can do to practice is when you have those moments, be really mindful of that and try to use, um, Hmm. Uh, now I'll be honest, when we typically in school, when you talk to native speakers and native English speaking students, we say, stop, don't say, um, like, <laughs> but you're special because you're learning natural English. So for you, you're going to have those moments when you think, and I want you to be able to sound even better. And I'll be honest, this is something that I'll notice with my students. If they say, um, huh then it really makes a difference. Even if the rest of their English is, is okay or they make some mistakes, that's fine. These small moments are what help elevate your English and help you sound more natural. Other words that I would recommend using, especially for American English, we tend to say really and seriously a lot, whether it's in response to someone's story or at the end of our comments. For example, if you're talking to me, I might say, oh, really? Seriously? And it's meant as a rhetorical question. I don't actually mean you have to answer me. It's just how we show that we're listening, that we're paying attention. So maybe try including those a little more. Two other words that are very popular in American English, and I'm sure you've heard me and other Americans say it, awesome. Also the word great. Now, for a lot of people from different cultures, this is different because you're more conservative with the way you praise things. In American culture, we pretty much say everything is awesome and everything is great. <laughs> and it doesn't mean that we're lying or that we don't mean it. Those are just words that we use a lot. So that's something that you might want to consider using. Like, oh, that's awesome. Or oh, that movie was so awesome. This is another opportunity to sound more natural. So not everything has to be good or okay. So feel free to try to sprinkle that into your next conversation. A great way to get more English speaking practice is to start your own podcast. Spotify for Podcasters makes it so easy to record, edit, and distribute your podcast right from your phone or computer. So no matter what your setup is like or how much experience you have or don't have, you can start creating today. Not only is it simple, it's totally free. I decided to start my podcast with Spotify and it's helped me reach hundreds of thousands of people. So download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. For more business English resources like articles, videos, courses, and one-to-one -one coaching with me, head over to tanyasuarez.com.